Thank you. <laughs> I'm in Australia, mate. Backstage pop quiz. I'm Kiki Murray, and this is the Showgirl Seven. I am in Melbourne. 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 It's two syllables. Melbourne. Melbourne. <laughs> Yeah, Mel Mel Gary, that's Australian. Question one, super easy. What's your name and how long have you been performing? My name is Freda Commitment. I've been performing for three and a half years. Second question right away is, where does that name come from? Because I feel like that should be my name. It's a very relatable pun that really tells you all you need to know about me, honestly. <laughs> it's also a nice little reminder to never give up. <laughs> Wait, how? How because is Freda Commitment? Don't be afraid to commit. because. You should, it's motivational, oh. right? It's mo it is. I you didn't say the don't part. It could go both ways. Would you like to go both ways? I don't, no I don't. Oh. I only take it up the bump. <laughs> that's it, that's it. That's all we've got oh going God. on here. Okay, wait, that was two questions. <laughs> Number three, what is the sexiest pasta? I feel like linguine is such a sexy name. Oh. It makes me think of <laughs> slender pasta. Is it? I don't even know what linguine is. I just like, it just sounds like a linguine. linguine. It just rolls off the tongue. I think carbonara is the bogan of the pasta family. The bogan? Yes. What is bogan? It is like an Australian redneck. Oh. That's okay. the best way to explain it. Someone with a very thick accent who probably doesn't have a lot of money. <laughs> Am I or a personality. No, I'm just oh, no. I'm losing all my friends here. Or education. Oh, education. Come on, come on, man. Probably been on Centrelink a few times. Oh, you're talking about like meth heads? That's what we would. I think. mean, they don't have to be on drugs, <laughs> that's, but that's a subculture. Place. We call them flo <laughs> Florida people. Florida people. Yes, exactly. yeah. you got the wrong. Okay, Florida people. Absolutely. <laughs> Number four, makeup or hair product you cannot live without. Uh, uh, spirit gum. Because okay. nothing would stick down, and then I would not have any hair. Oh, okay, so spirit yeah. gum's what you do to lay down. Okay. Yes. And a good liquid lipstick. Okay. You can suck dick, no one's gonna know. God but bless Rihanna. Fenty is everything. Fenty is everything. Fenty has changed my life. Can, oh, is that a yes. Fenty? Yes. Fenty is an official drag product. This is the Fenty. So stunning. Oh, okay, her foundation changed my life. Okay, was that one, two, three? That was four. No, that was five, because you asked me about pasta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me. Well, How are you? I normally have Who a are phone, you? A second phone with my notes, but I forgot it. No, that was four. Question five What color is sex? Red. Red? Why? <laughs> because I'm very sexually attracted to red flags. <laughs> 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 Walking red flag, Walking right red here. Flag. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Question number six. Uh, do you have any pre-show rituals? Doing a massive shit. Um, <laughs> the three S's: shit, shower, and shave. No, I like. I like to do a workout before I get into drag. I kind of believe your first answer more, honestly. Yeah, like it, it, that's the more honest one. Yeah, you really, really, really. like the Miss yeah. America or like the Miss Universe And answer. world peace. Yeah. And yeah. world peace. No, just doing a massive shit. Get it out of your system so you don't have to shit for the rest of the day. Drag queens are like camels. You hold all your piss and your shit for the whole day. No, it's too much. Okay, question six. If you were a camel, would you be a one hump camel or a two hump camel? More humps the merrier. Can I have three? You can have as many as you want. I'm I gonna have three. Okay. Two on the top, one on the bottom. I don't know why, but I just need a third one. You know, it's like when you have a spare tire, you're always gonna keep one in the back. Wait, the boot. That's what y'all call it. The boot. The boot. Yeah, yes. the car boot. Yes. You can call it the trunk. You yes. call it the boot. We don't call it the trunk. We call it. The you boot. have junk in the boot. Yes. Because we have car boot sales. Do you have car trunk sales? No. 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 What is the car boot sale? Well, it's like a trash and treasure where the people line their cars up like a garage sale, but it's people selling things out of their boots. Oh, yeah. that sounds cool. No, we don't have that. It's very, it's very <laughs> suburban. It does what it is. Oh, okay. It's like a yard sale, but portable. Yeah. Okay. You just all arrive in a big car park and sell your shit to each other. If somebody came to the other show and was like, oh my god, this was so good, I want to get in the drag, how do you answer? What do you tell them? Don't. I love this I learned how to do drag from Mrs. Doubtfire. I just put my face in a cream eye and then I look like this. Okay. That's the magic of drag. That's the magic. And also don't do it. Apparently. Don't do it. No. But you can. Just book your therapist before you start. 
Because you'll definitely make money. That's just life advice, honestly. Good life advice. Get a good therapist and don't. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're Thank you for having me. Get out of here. Get out of here.